Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to be your instructor in this Python course. In this course, you are going to learn everything you need to get started programming in Python. Python is one of the most popular programming languages, and every day people use it to do cool things like automation. They use it in artificial intelligence, as well as building applications and websites like Instagram and Dropbox. So, if you are looking for a job, Python is for you. In this course, I am going to teach you everything you need to get to start with Python. I am going to talk about all the core concepts in Python, and we are going to build three Python projects together. You are going to learn how to create beautiful websites for your grocery store. We can see all the products in the shop, and we also have an add to an area for management of stock. We are going also to build this using a Python popular framework called Django. Now, if you have never built a website before, don't worry. I will teach you everything from scratch. You are going to learn how to use Python in machine learning or artificial intelligence. So, you will learn how to write a Python program that will predict this kind of music that people like based on the year profile. Just like how YouTube recommends videos based on the videos you have watched before. I will also teach you how to use Python to automate boring, repetitive tasks without wasting your time. You will write a Python program that will process thousands of spreadsheets in under a second. I've designed this Python course for anyone who wants to learn Python. If you are a beginner, don't worry. I won't hold you your hand through this entire course. Don't think that you are too old or too young. And Python is super easy to learn. You can write your first Python program in literary seconds. Additionally, I'm going to give you plenty of exercises to help you building your confidence, writing cool Python programs. I am a senior developer with 10 years of experience and I've taught a lot of people how to code. I'm super excited to be teaching you Python during this course, so I hope you stick around and learn this beautiful and powerful programming language. It is not difficult at all. I'm going to show you how to download and install the newest version of Python on your computer. So, the first thing I wanted to do is to open up your browser and head over to python.org on this page. Click on Downloads. Here you can see the latest version of Python currently at the time of recording this video. The latest version is Python 3. 0.8.2. Changes may happen in the future when you are watching this tutorial. There is a newer version of Python available. Don't worry. All the materials you are going to learn in this course will apply to the latest version of Python as well. So let's go ahead and download Python 3.8.2. Alright, now look at your downloads folder here. We should have Python 3 installer simple, simply then click, uh, double click there. If you are on Windows, you are going to see this checkbox here at Python toolpad. This is really important. Make sure to take this box, otherwise you are not going to be able to follow this tutorial. If you are on Mac, you are going to see an installer with a solar wizard. We can install Python 3 on our computer. So simply click continue and again and again I agree with the license agreement and install it. This is going to take a few seconds. I want to make sure that everything is okay. Alright, we have successfully installed Python 3 on our computer. Let's close it. Right next, we need to install a code editor. We use a code editor to write our code just like how we use Microsoft Word to write documents. Now, there is so many code editors out there. 
that one day I'm going to show you. In this tutorial, we are using PyCharm. That is one of the most popular code editors for writing Python code. You can get it from jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. Now, more accurately, PyCharm is considered an idea which is short for integrated development uh, environment. Uh, and that is basically a code editor on storage. It has some additional features that makes it really easy to write code. So let's go ahead and download PyCharm. I'm on the download page. Then you can see two versions of PyCharm. One is professional edition, which has additional features and you will have to pay for them. The other is the community edition that is absolutely free and that is what we are going to use in this tutorial. So go ahead and download this as well. Now, once again, look at your downloads folder here. You should have a chart. So double click to this. Now, if you are on Windows, you are going to see an installation wizard. Simply click next, next, next until you install Pachar. If you are on Mac, you need to drag and drop the icon onto the applications folder. So drag and drop and everything will be installed. For now, let's double click to this to run it. The first time you run PyCharm, we are going to get this warning because it's an application that you download from the internet. So let's go ahead and open it. Next, you are going to see this dialog box for importing some settings live. This is to do uh, uh, importation settings. It does not really matter, okay? Uh, on this page select you can see some uh, keyword shortcuts that may be useful in the future just accept this and down the button click the next button and then next again one more time and finally start using PyCharm so here is the main page of PyCharm but you are going to see every time you open it click on create new project this is a location for our project Let's call this project Hello World. Now, before clicking Create, expand this item here. Make sure that base interpreter is set to Python 3.8.2. Python interpreter is basically a program that knows how to execute Python code. It will interpret on or translate Python instructions into uh, instructions that the computer can understand. Now, my computer's by default and come with an older installation of python that is for example python 2 it is considered legacy which means that uh, it's no longer maintained or supported so earlier we downloaded python 3.8.2 make sure that this is set to python 3 if not from this list select python 8.2 and now let's go ahead and create this project now here click right on hello world folder and go to new uh, for file then we call this file app that PyCharm um, know it so by convention uh, all Python files shall have the uh, Py extension Right, let's, let's go ahead. Now let's collapse this project panel by clicking here and write our first Python program. Simply type print all in long case, open and close parentheses, and inside this parentheses add quotations. You can either use single quotes or double quotes. Now in between the code, write your name, and after that, let's write that here. So, this is your first Python program with this piece of code. You can print your name on the screen to run it. We click on run, go on the top under the run menu, click run. Also, note that there is a shortcut associated with this command when I code or do program 
I always use short cuts too because um, that increases my productivity. So here on Windows, for example, we have some shortcuts um, different to on Mac. Uh, so let's go ahead with that. Now I was asking where you want to run this click on app. Now down, down below, you should see this little terminal window. This is like a little window into our program. So here we can see the results or output of our program in the future. As you learn more Python, you will be able to build applications that have a graphical user interface on our GUI that is a little bit complicated. So for now, we are going to use this little terminal window to see the results of our program. So as you can see, my name is printed here. Now as you write code, this window may get in the right way so you can always resize it or minimize it by clicking this icon here. You can also use the parameters in order to reduce the screen of the interface. By the end, I hope that you enjoyed watching this tuto and I wish you can watch my next tuto as well. Thank you so much and best luck.